On the 22nd of August, Pakistani media reported that the Pakistan Supreme Court revised its judgment in Ahmadiyya Mubarak Sani's case. The revision came after hardliner Islamists protested against the paragraphs in Supreme Court judgment where it said Ahmadiyyas have a right to follow their religion. Supreme Court removed the so-called controversial paragraphs from the Ahmadiyya Mubarak Sani's judgment following the protests by Islamists. The court accepted the federal government's appeal to correct the judgment by removing the paragraphs that had irked Islamists and Islamic organizations in Pakistan, putting even the life of a Supreme Court judge in danger. In its recent order, Pakistan's apex court ruled that the expunged paragraph 7, 42, and for 9c from the original decision cannot be used as judicial precedents. The decision followed objections raised by Islamic leaders, several of whom were present in court during the review order. According to reports, the removed paragraphs mentioned the banned book and proselytization activities of the Ahmadi community. During the hearing, the court was advised by Maulana Fazlur Rahman to limit its role in granting bail. In its order, the court stated that the federal government had sought a review of the previous judgment considering the recommendations from the Council of Islamic Ideology Chi. Notably, following the judgment, riots erupted in Pakistan, and Islamists had barged into the Supreme Court judge's house. Earlier, the Apex Court had sought assistance from religious leaders, including Mubdi Taki Usmani and Maulana Fazlur Rahman. On the matter, the three-judge bench, led by Chief Justice Qazi Fayez Issa, asked them to identify errors in the judgment. The Islamic leaders suggested that the court either revise the decision or annul it completely. Mufti Taki Usmani, who resides in Turkai, recommended the removal of paragraph 7 and 42, citing concerns over the interpretation of proselytization. The federal government, through the Attorney General, informed the court that parliament and religious leaders had urged the government to request the apex court's intervention in the matter as a second. The review was not feasible under civil procedure. Chief Justice Issa said, I pray after every namaz that no wrong decisions are made, highlighting the importance of judicial integrity. He also expressed respect for parliament, referencing his attendance at its 50th anniversary.